guys, welcome back to Hurricane Rosie. Oh my god, the sun is in my eyes. <laughs> okay, so today I wanted to film for you guys a video that has been on my mind for a couple of months now, but I kept on putting it off, but now I'm finally like, I'm finally ready to talk about it. You know, it's just, it's just been so hard to talk about. No, not really. I'm, I'm just being dramatic. <laughs> anyway, so today I wanted to talk about something that my best friend, Starseek, and I talk about... We talk about soulmates here and there, and uh, for all just talking about soulmates and what, so, the, like, what a soulmate is, we've concluded that we are soulmates. Shocker, I know. A lot of people usually associate the concept of soulmates with true love, uh, partner, something romantic, but for us, it's a little bit different. So at the beginning of this year, I'm pretty sure it was, she got me this necklace, and she has a matching necklace, and so does my sister. We all have a matching necklace. So what I want to talk about today when it comes to soulmates is what I think a soulmate means and what their purpose is in our life. So what I think a soulmate is it's not just the typical romantic relationship, true love kind of thing. I think that soulmates go a lot deeper, I suppose. It could be anybody in your life. It could be a friend, a family member, like even a, a pet maybe, if you feel that connected to them. For me, I found that my soulmates mostly are my friends. For me, I feel like a soulmate as a friend is a lot more fulfilling because friends that you consider soulmates can go a lot more deeper in a way that s most modern day relationships don't really get to go because of how a lot of people view relationships these days. I think it goes deeper because you just have this person in your life that sees not only the good in you, but also the dark aspects of your personality. And a true soulmate will never hold that against you, you know? Even if you have clashing viewpoints, even if you have clashing personalities, I think that somebody who is truly your soulmate will just be able to overcome all of that and love you unconditionally anyway. When you find that in a friend or even a lover or even a family member, it's just so incredibly profound and healing. So that's what I think a soulmate is. Uh, somebody that just truly and deeply loves you unconditionally. Even if you clash and fight and stop being friends at one point, they always have a way of coming back to each other. I think that soulmates are just missing pieces of your soul, being waiting to be found on this earth, on this crazy, mysterious, intriguing earth. And I think that the purpose of a soulmate is to show you something about yourself that you've either been running away from, avoiding, ignoring, whatever. And your soulmate, like, they encourage you to explore that part of yourself, as long as, of course, you're open to it. And that's what I think their purpose is in our life, is to show something about ourselves that something about ourselves that we just haven't been able to tap into yet. So if you found people like that, it's something that's very special. But yeah, that's all that I have to say. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment letting me know what you thought about what I said. And subscribe, it really helps me. Okay, so I'm actually filming this on another date, but I just had to let Everybody know that subscribed to me in the last week. Thank you so much. You've helped me reach 100 subscribers. I love you all and have a good day or night. Bye.